Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Kahoot video. Today I'm going to talk about how you can get rid of the bots from your Kahoot games, for example these bots. Um, so let's go back and start. Now I'm going to be talking about um, what people usually do to prevent bots. And the most common method is they enable team mode. Now, um, this used to work against things like Omega Boot and some other Kahoot spammers. However, um, this no longer works, and bots will still get in. As they, they now support team mode. So. See, I'm going to add one more bot, and you can see it joins. Doesn't care about team mode at all, and um, it would... now if you look at the player names below the actual bot, um, you'll see that it says player one, player two, player three, player four, and this is the default um, players um, team for uh, bots sent by Kahoot.js updated, which is a Kahoot library that's for Node.js. So if you see this, you should just click on them because they're probably a bot. Um, let's go through the other options that Kahoot has down here in the game options. And here we have um, things like the friendly nickname generator. People think that this stops bots, but it really doesn't. Um, there are barely any bots that try to uh, actually use a, a Chrome um, emulator to like to join the website and clicking on stuff. Most of them just directly use the web socket, and so friendly nickname generator doesn't work. Bots will still join with their own custom names. Now, um, one of the best features that Kahoot has by itself, one of the best features that Kahoot has by itself is two-step join, and this stops most bots. Um, you can go in here and um. however um two step join doesn't quite work all the time you can see um I'm gonna add a bot. And in a few seconds, it should join it. You can see it just joined in the last second. As, and um, the reason this works is because bots will actually um, they will try to brute force everything. And um, it will take a few tries for them, and they will eventually get in. Um, especially um, if the first one is a red triangle, they will get in faster usually, because they usually spam in a, in a very specific order. Um, however, um, as you can tell, it took a very long time for the bot to get in, so this is a pretty good method to get rid of the bots. However, it's not foolproof, they will still get in and um, they can still spam your game. Now there is a way you can upgrade these um, tools to help prevent even more bots using a program called Kahoot Antibot. Now Kahoot Antibot is a script that I made. It removes all bots from the Kahoot game. And the way it works is it um, first it compares different bot names and if they're very similar to each other it will, it will kick them. Um, it also detects things like the default um, default teams and also trying to spam the two factor. Yeah. The way you install it is first try to get something like Temper Monkey. Temper Monkey is a script manager. It allows you to install these kind of user scripts and run it as an extension in your browser. Now I, I've already installed it on, on my browser. And once you've installed the script by pressing this green button, um, 
Make sure it's enabled. You can click the Temper Monkey button and uh, enable it. And it doesn't work directly um, on pages that you haven't uh, enabled it on yet. You have to reload the page. And once you reload the page, you should see this thing appear at the bottom. Now, Kahoot Antibot has a few options. You can, uh, you can block um, minimum answer timeouts. This means that if someone tries to answer like, zero seconds after the question starts, it's not going to work. Um, now, let's block random names. It blocks names that seem somewhat random using certain rules. For example, bots that try to use a um, mix of capital letters and various things to uh, do spam games. As well as if you're a streamer, this is very useful. You can add more time to a question. You don't need to worry about, you don't need to use Teemo to add more time. You can just directly go like add 10 seconds, which is pretty great. And let's say you think that the matching is too high or it's too low, you can change this number. So 0 0.6, this means that it's going to match for 60%. Um, anything higher than 1, it's just going to block all everything. Nothing's going to get by. And if it says zero, everything is going to get in unless it's a unless it's using team mode or two factor and it detects that. Um, it also works very well with friendly nickname generators. What this does, um, it only allows bots that use the friendly nickname generator to get in. Bots that use the custom name will probably not get in; they'll get blocked. Now here's an example. I'm just going to uh, I'm going to disable this. I'm going to just enable the friendly nickname generator. I'm going to join. Now if I send a bot in, I'm going to use the name bot. Go. As you can see, this number increases to 1 and the bot doesn't appear. However, if I send in normal player, um, they will be allowed in, as you can see, and it's not blocked, and you're good to go. Um, This will also block bots. Like this, if this then bot one, bot two, bot three, bot four, the first bot might get in, but after that, they're all getting blocked. Um, and let's say you have players that are joining with the same name, and they're actual players, not bots. Um, as long as they join join in at the same time, they should be fine. They will be confirmed after ten seconds, and they will not be banned. So, um, in conclusion. If you want to completely get rid of the bots, um, use Kahoot Antibot, use team mode, um, friendly generator if you need if you need to, and two step join. Two step join, especially, will help prevent any like spammy bots by from brute forcing the code and getting in. The friendly nickname generator again will uh, this will get rid of a. Uh, any boss using their own custom name and uh, team mode will allow you to prevent um, bots using that default player 1, player 2, player 3, player 4 as well as will prevent any invalid teams some bots use completely empty teams which is also blocked by Kahoot Antibot Kahoot Antibot also blocks names that are longer than 15 characters which is the max limit on a name um, normally, and it even blocks bots that use like a that purposely use a bad name to get somewhat random name from Kahoot. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.